All right, so we got uh, number seven of the, uh, the release wave one updates this year, or release, yeah, 2020. So this release wave 2020 is actually quite big and it's kind of silly that they say it's one release wave because they are actually incrementally releasing it. So they say, well, it's going to be ready maybe in July or maybe in August. Some of that, some of it will be available earlier. So we're going to be closely watching it. We're actually coming into release two now. Um, so I'm picking up stuff from there uh, soon, but I think I got about three more things I want to talk about. So this one, this one is really cool. So basically, uh, if you have a sales order and you have quantity to ship to, uh, let's say 10, so you're selling something, let's say that's a chair. Uh, and then you have to invoice, which we know 10 as well, right? So now you're going to post this. So let's say, uh, I, I go ahead and post, I change this to, let's say eight here, eight and eight. So I'm, and originally I should do this properly here. Cheer, the quantity on the order is 10. So this becomes 10 and this becomes 10. I change that to eight. So I'm only shipping eight out of the 10 originally on the order, right? Now, if I hit post now, so I do post, what happens is of course, the quantity to ship becomes two, quantity to invoice becomes two, and the quantity, I'm just gonna put invoiced, uh, is eight, right? So that was, that was zero here, but now it's eight. So it means that you have invoiced eight and you have two left to invoice. Okay, so now let's say, oh, I made a mistake. Uh, I wasn't gonna invoice these eight. Um, what can I do? So you can actually go into the invoice and do something called uh, cancel. So if you go in the invoice and hit cancel, in, in the past, what happened is that it would just do a credit memo for you and sort of cancel it out. But what it does right now, it actually not only credits out what you posted, but also changes uh, the quantity invoice back to zero, which it was up here, and changes these guys to eight. Um, uh, actually, actually to 10. all the way to the original. So the sales order is fixed, and this is working for partials. If you completely um, invoice the sales order and then cancel it, I think it just cancels uh, the invoice and that's it. But here it actually reverts the quantity to invoice and quantity to ship, so it goes back, which is really nice. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so this one is pretty interesting about canceling sales orders. Let's say if I get into sales orders here and I created a new one called for the uh, Canon group for the Paris guest chair and I have 10 on this sales order. I'm going to go ahead and ship two. So let's say I made a mistake and I wasn't supposed to actually invoice this, uh, but I do. So I post this ship an invoice and then we get oh no uh it actually didn't invoice you should back it out because there was an issue and we're oh damn we have to then go ahead and um uh, reverse it and la, la 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 so let's go ahead and and see how we can quickly fix this if i could just go into the posted sales invoice which is right here and i want to go ahead and cancel this invoice so I just go into correct, uh, hit cancel, and just say OK. It posts a reversing entry to reverse it, and I'm not going to take a look at that. Uh, and then I go back and I can see that this particular invoice has been cancelled. See that right here. And then if I go back into my sales order, it's back to 10. So it's been all reversed, just like we erased it. But it did post uh, correcting entries, 
So it did maintain proper accounting standards. It's not like it just deleted the invoice and the entries and moved it up. Uh, so it has a record that this happened. However, um, it has been reversed.